Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So um, I probably look very familiar to you because I'm basically trying to film three videos at once. I'm doing a foundation review, uh, the By Terry Sun Designer palette, and then uh, these. These are the Charlotte Tilbury New Eyes to Mesmerize. And I've been so busy. I've had a friend in from out of town uh, this past weekend and I just fell behind with everything. So I got this box days ago and I'm just opening it now. So here is the Charlotte Tilbury box. I just love the packaging. And here are the two new Eyes to Mesmerize. So if you're interested in seeing me apply these shadows, do a lot of comparison swatches to what I have in my collection. I have one other Eyes to Mesmerize and then I have a whole bunch of the Tom Ford cream shadows. Then just keep on watching. Oh my God, these are so pretty. Okay, this one is rose gold and this one is star gold. If you guys watched my yesterday's video about the By Terry Sun Designer palettes, I mentioned I'm going to use the uh, Happy Sun palette as like an eyeshadow base to these cream eyeshadows. I am so excited. So we're going to do that. I'm going to whip out that palette. So this is the palette I was referring to. Just a lovely, neutral, beautiful transition shades. Um, I have it on my face right now. As bronzer, I have uh, the darker side over here on this side and I have the lighter side over here on this side. So this one is definitely darker, and I was saying in the video yesterday that this is like beginning of summer to end of summer. <laughs> All right, so let's move into these cream eyeshadows. So I have Star Gold here, which, ooh, this is pretty. Here is Star Gold in the pot. There it is on my finger. There is a swatch. Oh, wow. That is much more like copper and warm than I thought. I really thought it was going to be more gold. It's like, um, like penny copper. And then here is rose gold. Oh, so pretty too. These are beautiful. And I believe these are limited edition. And there is rose gold. Oh, that is so pretty. And I purchased these off of the Charlotte Tilbury site. Uh, they had like a... Did they have an early VIP access? Maybe. Maybe that was for the quads. I'm getting mixed up. Um, but, sorry, I'm looking at my receipt now. I'm trying to figure out how much these were. I don't know. They were free. So these are $32 each, and I believe they're exclusive to the Charlotte Tilbury site at the moment. I don't know if they're going to be opening it up and kind of offering it at their other retailers uh, because they're limited edition. I'm not sure. So let's do some comparison swatches. What I'm going to do is just flash a picture of the Star Gold swatch next to a bunch of similar cream shadow swatches that I have. So I'm going to do a little voice over here and just kind of talk through the swatches a little bit. All right, so we've got the Star Gold swatch all the way over on the left. And so just next to that, we have the Bet color from Charlotte Tilbury, another Eyes to Mesmerize. Next to that, we have Tom Ford Spice. And then we have Tom Ford's Naked Bronze. And then next to that, I decided to throw in the Gucci Iconic Bronze Powder Shadow. It's just a single shadow. It's a powder formula, but it looked kind of similar to me, so I decided to throw that in. And then at the end, I have the YSL uh, Full Metal Shadow in number 7. Now, I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but none of them are exact dupes. A lot of them are not quite as warm and coppery as the Star Gold like the Bet, the Spice, the Naked Bronze, those are all much more brown in tone. The Iconic Bronze from Gucci and the number seven YSL Full Metal Shadow, those actually are a little bit closer to that copper tone in the Star Gold, but still not exactly the same. And then next, I'm going to uh, swatch Rose Gold, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a picture up of that and do a voiceover and kind of talk through the swatches there. Okay, so we have the Rose Gold from Charlotte Tilbury on the left. Next to that, we have the Tom Ford Golden Peach. Next to that, we have Tom Ford's Paradiso. And then Tom Ford's Opal, or Opal. And then we have Tom Ford's Escapade, which was limited edition and part of a Nordstrom anniversary set. And then lastly, we have one of the YSL Full Metal Shadows again, and this is number five. You can see here that I don't really have a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Rose Gold. It is much 
warmer and peachier than the golden peach or the paradiso and especially the opal color the escapade color has that gold shift to it the ysl is like a completely different tone um, i believe there is a similarity to the tom ford pink haze i don't personally have that one but i've seen pictures online and that seems to be relatively close but again it seems a little bit cooler than the charlotte tilbury's rose gold Let's get to applying these shadows on my eyes. All right, so I'm just gonna lay down some powder shadow as a base. I'm gonna use, again, I'm gonna try this Happy Sun palette and see how it works as eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go into these two shades here, the uh, darker and lighter shades on the right-hand side here, and just sort of mix the two and bring that to my outer corner and into my socket area. Oh, it's nice. These are really nice as eyeshadows. That blends out really, really beautifully. All right, well, I can say that these work really, really nicely as eyeshadows. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm gonna go in with a uh, Sonia G Worker 2 brush, and I actually just got another one. This is my second Worker 2 brush. I just ordered this from Beautylish when I ordered the By Terry uh, palettes. Just love these. These are so perfect for cream shadows. So anyway, let's get into Star Gold. I am very interested in this one. And I'm just gonna dip right into the pot here. If you guys are not familiar with these um, Eyes to Mesmerize by Charlotte Tilbury, they're very, very soft, moussey kind of shadows. They're not like the Chanel uh, shadows at all, which are very, uh, which are dense. These are very, very soft. So you want to dip your brush in very lightly. And I just have a little bit on the tip. I'm just going to sweep this all over. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Wow, that's really pretty. This makes me want to smoke out my lower lash line. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go into just this darker color on the top here. Well, that was an easy eye look. Just ignore this side of my face. I feel like a, kind of like a bronze goddess over here. This could be like my summer go-to look. And same thing, I'm just gonna dip very gently into the, oop, I picked up too much. <laughs> okay, interestingly enough, I feel like this one did not go on quite as smoothly as the star gold. The star gold, I could actually kind of swipe and blend in really nicely. This one, I feel like I have to pat. Otherwise, I feel like the color goes on kind of patchy, but patting it is fine. It goes on fine after that. So it's just knowing, at least for me, that I have to do it differently uh, between these two shades. So there is the rose gold. Definitely much more of a natural look. I feel like the star gold has much more impact. So this could be a nice day look. This could be a nice evening look. But let's go ahead and smoke out this lower lash line too. I'm gonna to use a different shade actually. Uh, I'm gonna use this one in the middle here. This one has a little bit more shimmer. It's a little bit lighter. That's pretty, but I think I still need the darker color for some effect there. Wow, I love these. I've always loved these cream um, shadows from Charlotte Tilbury. They're very beautiful. I only have one other one, uh, Bet, which you guys just saw in the swatches, but they're really nice. I actually don't know why I don't have more. Okay, so one last look, here is Rose Gold. Here is Star Gold, and here they are swatched. So here is Star Gold, and here is Rose Gold. So that's it for the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize in Star Gold and Rose Gold. I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comment section. Uh, thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in my next video.